Jonathan from Philadelphia asked that sometimes I have to force myself to practice uh, because I don't want, sometimes I like, sometimes I just have to force myself any ideas. So the answer is that uh, if you get more knowledge, because sometimes of course we practice and then we, we feel well or, or feel we play better and it's absolutely true and then we get encouraged but some of the time we just find many areas that we are not yet good at and then this should not discourage you because this is just like you know in the video games people are very enthusiastic to play I never played in the, you know, the Pac-Man of the 70s remember the dinosaurs? well, those were those video games but, but I, as far as I know people are very enthusiastic to play video games and they, they, they lose many times it's not that they win all the time so this winning losing uh, equation, we have to take out this from the practice because then otherwise uh, it is not fruitful there what you will do or as you said you have to to just do it begrudgingly somehow so therefore the solution is that you get more knowledge because if you get, get knowledge then you will see why you need to be able to manage this information and render it something that you can use actually in your plane and then when you understand that then it doesn't matter if, if we have sometimes difficulties in the practice or stuff is not yet there no problem it's part of the fun actually this this thing but, but you have to see it from the knowledge perspective because if you see it as today I practice very well I feel I play great and then when you practice other stuff say rhythm or some other area in which you are not yet good uh, then if you feel depressed for this, then that's, that's why the mind tells you, oh, better that I don't practice now because you have to face something on the practice which is not very pleasant. But it's not pleasant, not because it's not pleasant, but because you don't understand why is that you need that and how you can use it later on if you master the material. So the solution is getting more knowledge. That's why all these things, in my study program, in Skype, I have all set in a way that you can understand what is the the goal and, and also clearly see what you need and then based on that understanding of course sometimes we feel very happy practicing some other time we just practice as a routine but the important thing is that if we know why then the discouragement disappears and, and you, you, you will not have to force yourself to, you will willingly like to do it even if you get defeated every time in the video game thing people still keep trying right <laughs> With, even maybe with more enthusiasm. Why? Because it's fun to do that way. So you have to see it differently. This is my advice. Bueno, yo lo que descubrí ahí es la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien. Pablo. Sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando 